And this is a look at four years of data tracking a growing and scary trend here in Las Vegas, catalytic converter thefts. Metro Police reported just five of them in 2018. Now over 2,500 of them were reported stolen across the valley in 2022. And Metro says the crime has increased more than 1,200% from 2019 to 2022. And the trend has cost people and businesses thousands of dollars. So lawmakers decided to do something about it. And tonight, eight months later, Alyssa Bethencourt shows us if it's made a difference. Catalytic converters are worth a lot of money. That is why thieves started stealing them in the first place. But a state law that went into effect last October seems to be pumping the brakes on a crime that swept through Southern Nevada. I had a lady came to me one time and said, hey, do you buy catalytic converters? I said, nope, I don't buy catalytic converters. I sell it when I have some, and she was a police officer. Undercover. It was a close call for Sammy Peña, who has worked as an auto mechanic for 35 years. At his shop in North Las Vegas, he fixes cars up and also buys them. More than anything, he understands how they work. So when catalytic converters started getting stolen at an alarming rate in Las Vegas back in 2020, he knew exactly why. They can make big bucks out of it. They are thieves who in a matter of minutes are able to steal a catalytic converter from any car. It is a quick and a calculated crime that could turn a big profit. In between $350 up to $2,000. The metals found in catalytic converters such as platinum and rhodium are in high demand. And up until recently, stealing them and selling them in Nevada was not a crime. And I asked Metro, why can't you arrest these people? And they said, we don't have a charge. That response was the reason Senator Rochelle Wynne introduced Senate Bill 243. It aims to stop people and businesses from buying used catalytic converters from anyone other than a licensed business or a person with documentation showing they own it. It was happening at car lots, it was happening at auto dealerships, it was happening everywhere. The bill was signed into law last summer and went into effect in October of 2023. Now, thieves who are caught with the valuable pieces could face felony charges and even more severe penalties depending on how many they possess. We have seen some progress, we have seen some arrests, we have seen some prosecutions when it comes to catalytic converter theft, which is what should be happening. And it's a change, Sammy says, he's noticed too. Do you think a law was needed to regulate Oh theft? yes, oh yes. Now, Metro Police actually stopped tracking the number of catalytic converter thefts at the end of 2022 because tracking became so time consuming. I'm currently in the process of submitting a request through the department to access more detailed data on the crime. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Melissa Bethencourt. And there are things you can do to try and prevent your catalytic converter from being stolen. Police suggest people park in a garage if possible. If not, a well-lit area will work. Drivers are also urged to mark their VIN number or put bright heat-resistant paint on the converter. Finally, purchasing metal plates that cover the converter, making it more difficult for someone to steal. Meantime, Los Angeles.